it's your boy Kari and welcome back to my channel and today we got a very special video it's video I'm rating my followers outfits now if you want to be in the next one follow me on Instagram because I'll post it on my Instagram story I'm making a rating my followers outfit video and send your outfits so if you want to be on the next one stay tuned with my Instagram because I'm always posted on there I'm gonna be rating these outfits on the fire scale one fire emoji your outfit was not it it wasn't commendable a five fire emoji that mean your outfit was it that mean you did your thing that before we get into this video i just want to do a quick disclaimer if i don't rate your outfit high please don't take it personal because that's just my perspective everything is someone's perspective just because i might not like your outfit doesn't mean it wasn't good it all it should matter if it, the outfit was good to you that's the only thing that's matter all right for the first outfit we got my boy lossy now lossy's fit is real clean he wearing a jacket with some painter pants and some billionaire boy club adidas personally i really do like this outfit but i just think that each piece is a standout piece and it would have went better with something simple you know what I me mean? like the jacket is already loud enough so i feel like if you would have paired it with just some quieter pants and some quieter shoes it would have went perfect as for the jeans the jeans are a standout piece so if you were to pair the jeans with like a subtle shirt i feel like the outfit would have flowed together better so the, i will give the outfit a four on the fire scale all right next we got my boy who knows kyle who knows kyle's wearing this very clean stussy jacket with these painter pants and these adidas and I really do like this outfit. Everything correlates together perfectly. If I had to change one thing, it would be the shoes. I would have chose a different pair of shoes. But besides that, I think this is a great outfit. And I, I want to give it a five, but I'm going to give it a four on the fire scale. All right, moving on to the next outfit. We got my boy Solomon. And I really do like this outfit. This is something I can see myself wearing. He got the jacket with the uh, tank top with the tote bag with the navy blue pants that matches the navy blue jacket the navy on navy goes perfect with each other with the loafers this outfits definitely fly the only thing is i would have chose a different background scenery but besides that this outfit is great this is a great outfit i give it a four on the fire scale next we got my boy cowboy calvin and i'm gonna be honest i fuck with the aesthetic of this picture more than the actual outfit like the aesthetic of the picture, he got it. The outfit, I I actually do like the outfit. I just feel like he's missing something to give that outfit that extra, that extra something that he needs. Like I feel like he's missing some accessories or something of that sort. Cause if he would have threw on some accessories, this would have took this outfit from being this to something better. And just for the lack of accessories, I'm gonna have to give this outfit a three on the fire scale. Next, we got Aurora. And I feel the same about this outfit as the last one. I like the aesthetic of the picture more than the actual outfit. I feel like she was going for that nature vibe and I feel like she nailed that, especially with the t-shirt with the flowers, the boot cut jeans, no shoes in the middle of nature. So I really do fuck with the aesthetic of the picture. Now, as for the outfit, I'm gonna have to give it a three on the fire scale. All right, next we got my boy Skittles. Now Skittles, she's wearing a number nine button up shirt with a number nine tee underneath that with some vintage Levi's and some Jeremy Scott's. Now this is easily one of my favorite fits in this video. Like everything goes perfect. The background goes perfect with the outfit and having that good of a background just brings out the outfit even more. So I'm gonna have to give this a five on the fire scale. All right, next we got Forever Quinn. Now his outfit, my man got the Arterex jacket on with some cargos and some Solomons. The background goes perfect with the outfit, which makes the outfit even better. So I'm gonna have to give this a four on the fire scale. Next, we got Katana. Now Katana's outfit's actually really clean. I feel like she was going for that early 2000s Y2K look, and I really do fuck with the outfit. The only thing that's holding this outfit back is the background. If she would have had a better background, this outfit would have been even crazier. And just because of that background not being up to par, I'm gonna have to give this a three on the fire scale. Actually, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a four on the fire scale. I'm gonna give it a four. Next, we got my boy Sabah. 
and Sabat did a great job pairing the background with the outfit. I feel like the background and the outfit goes perfect together. Now, as for the fit as itself, I'm gonna be honest, it's not my style at all. Personally, I just think the outfit is doing too much. And for that, I'm gonna have to give it a two on the fire scale. Now, next, we got Lover Brody. Now, Lover Brody's wearing this beanie with this aberrant long sleeve, historic glamour pants, and Cinzia Aria boots. Now, it's easily one of my favorite outfits that was sent over. Like, the outfit flows together so well. He coordinated it really well with the background. I have to give it a five on the fire scale. Next, we got Boy One to Alex. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, but at least your fit is fire. I really do like this outfit. I like it that he threw a scarf over his head, and I think he paired it well with the bag, and the pants with the boots go excellent with each other, and I will have to give it a three on the fire scale. Next, we got Bebumim. I'm 100% sure I butchered your name. I'm so sorry, bro, I said your name wrong. Now, this outfit had so much potential. Like, this outfit flows together so well. The trucker hat with the sleeveless shirt with the vintage jeans. The two things I would change is the background and the shoes. I feel like he is going for a bulkier shoe look. That's why he chose the pimpins. But personally, if he had some boots, that would have took that outfit to a whole different level. For the last outfit, we got my boy, I Heart You. And I'm not going to lie, I saved my favorite for last. Like, just look at the outfit. Just look what he got on. He got on a CP Company goggle hoodie with the 98 undercovers with some G-Fazos. Like, just look at the outfit. I don't have to say nothing. Like, it's instantly a five on the fire scale. Like, every, he really put that on, and the background goes perfect with it. Like, I don't really got too much to say about this. He killed this outfit. I ain't gonna lie. This is my favorite that was sent over. I would like to say thank you to everyone who did send over an outfit. I really do appreciate it. But unfortunately, I was unable to do everyone's outfit in this video because it just would have been way too long. So if you really like this video, let's get 200 views, and I'll drop a part two. I need everyone to like, comment, and subscribe. Now here's some vlog footage. We have made it to our destination, which is the beach. I don't even want to get in the lake for these pictures, but you know, you got to do what you got to do to be great. I really hate the beach. That's why I'm dreading this. Like, I don't like the beach at all. I don't know why I agreed to this. So I need y'all to go crazy on this picture. Like, please, please repost, like, save, bro. DM random niggas the picture, anything. This will key remind me of the Lancey Fox Poison video. What up, vlog? We're gonna do some camera stuff today. If you look over there, we can see a surrounding the water. He's in his natural habitat right now. He's uh, fairly docile. Oh, fairly oh. docile. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I can't swim, bro. What is it, deep there? No, it was a rock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just wrapped up the lake pictures. To be honest, that was the most disgusting thing I've ever done for pictures. Like, I hate the beach. I think the water is so nasty and I have to dip my face in it, dip my hair in it. Like I refuse, uh, like I seriously ate the beach. That was like absolutely disgusting. I don't know what's in that water, but you know, got to do it for the grill. Got to do it for y'all. So I need y'all to flood the comments, like go crazy on this picture for me, please. Shout out lots of getting all the behind the scenes, real one. Yeah. Marcus, talk to the people. Hit him with the robot. Marcus, tell them who you are, man. Tell them who you is. Marcus Game, 6'5", you know the vibes. Right. You know, we're going Indiana this year. Right, what you jumping? What you jumping? 6'10 this year. You All right, say less. say less. Say less. Say hey, less. Go follow my Instagram. Up, oh, no free cloud. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'll put your shit up. Nah, just... Just follow the gram, you know, Marcus.Gains2S. I got you. I got you. Peace out. All right. Boom. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Man, look at Sarah. <laughs> hey. Did you just shoot? Come on. Talk to me. We want to get with Megan. Oh, oh, it looks like a little 
little crackhead. Get with Blakey. Hey, 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 oh, he said, let me take it back real quick. Take it back to Frank's video. I'm with Lassie, Juliet. But yeah, we're at the uh, Akron Art Museum. Hey, Juliet, take over. Okay. <laughs> What'd you say? Okay, quick fit checks. Um, earrings, Moira's sister, Avery, Target, Francesca's. Rings, all over the place. Shirt, second hand. Pants, Target, Docs. Drippiest motherfuckers out there. These locations and go to the old middle school, but our problem is we got to figure out how to break in because it's construction and it's like locked off. <laughs> I feel like I'm like escaping from prison or some shit. It worked. You're welcome, Hudson people. Uh. Yeah, I just want to show how dedicated I am. So when these pictures drop, please go crazy because I'm like damn near killing myself just for the angles. And this just for y'all. This is for y'all. So um yeah, I'ma get down now, but I'm gonna need y'all to go crazy.